Follow the show at Termulus Pod on Twitter. Write to us at Termulus Podcast at gmail.com. And please, for the love of all that is holy, subscribe to our YouTube page. Or else. Turn me loose, it's Thursday night. It's Ryan, you know what time it is. I'm here with Pat. It's go time, baby, go time. Lock eyes. <laughs> connect, <laughs> connect with me, soldier. Ben's here. What up? And Mike's here too. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, it's that's like my the, catchphrase. I don't know why that's the... Catchphrase. <laughs> I gotta have a catchphrase. I'm just sniping it from you. That's Snipe. my new thing now. Yeah. Sniping my catchphrases. <laughs> I'm working hard. We're coining terms. Like, I'm trying to get catchphrases, you know? Hashtag Megan Cole. Look Hashtag out for it on Urban Cole. Dictionary. Cole. We'll be tweeted at Termulus Pod. Look for that link later. Grab that gold coin. Snatch mm. it from Mario. But for now, <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry. And these fish are in space. I'm talking. Space fish. You. F O's. Yes. Mm. It's about time. Space. Footage shows an encounter between the US Navy jet and an unknown aircraft from two thousand four. My god, man. I'm looking at Waypo. Washington Post. This is serious. The article is titled UFOs Exist and Everyone Needs to Adjust to That Fact. Let's go. What do you think, Pat? Eh, I mean, <laughs> I think after the 90s, there's just been an increase in uh, like photos of UFOs and like people trying to like use use more use more technology just to find UFOs. So mm-hmm. with that, you can find a lot of other things with UFOs. But now, nowadays, I think we've already known about UFOs since like the 70s. It's just starting to become more. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. Like people, people are more open to it. Do you think? So it's just right it's way, just an baby. unidentified flying object. It doesn't necessarily, you know, specify where it comes. Do you think it comes from like another planet, or do you think it? I mean, I was listening to a, con, not real. I mean, I guess it's a conspiracy theory, but uh, some lady talk about how the Russians like just kind of flew something over to where. Uh, area 51 is and hmm. they just wanted to cause a panic so you so, think it's just another culture another country yeah do you think it could just be like another country's like attempts at like underground or like you know spying or something like that like the chinese or like uh what was it richard branson um yeah. back in i want to say the late 2000s um made a big ass hot air balloon that looked like a ufo it had lights and everything on it, <laughs> and he flew it over to London just to scare the shit out of people. And uh, I can kind of respect that. Caused though. a pretty big panic. <laughs> but yeah, <it> was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's meant to do that on purpose or if it lo- just looked like a UFO, but it looked like a UFO. I hope it was on purpose. <laughs> I just like that sense of humor. Um, <laughs> Richard Branson but drop. The, I think. There's, <laughs> there, I think there's more uh, UFO sightings in London than in. Uh, like Denver. Yeah. Yeah. Just from I mean, there. so the New York Times recently ran a ran a similar post about these uh, I think they were Navy. They were in the Navy mm-hmm. and they uh, said that in 2014 they saw they had some activity that was could not be explained. Hmm. And uh, it just seems like the media is subtly increasing the stream of these type of articles mm-hmm. just you know, just setting us up you know but i don't know everything's been like Be- media related everything's already been decoded and like made for the public it just, it just like, seems like we'll keep seeing more of these articles for the next the year or two but they're getting ready to drop the big one 
Yeah. I'm just keep my mouth shut. No one in the Defense Department is saying that the objects were extraterrestrial, and experts emphasize that earthly explanations can generally be found for such incidents. I got lots of ideas. Mm. I always find. Uh, figured they'd say something like that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like a <laughs> story. <laughs> I like uh, meteors and me- like meteorites. Yeah. I like the differences and everything. But uh, Bet you do. when they hit the land, uh, you can sell them for a lot of money. Uh, if you get like a meteor, chase them down. An asteroid. Um, but every once in a while, they'll get a big enough one where the government will immediately come and swoop it up before you can, uh, before someone claims it and sells it. If it lands on your property, you own that meteor, and uh, they're normally worth over like ten G's. That should Easy. be a movie right there, similar to like Twister, where they're chasing the tornadoes. So you just chasing, chasing the meteorites. <laughs> <laughs> God, we come up with so many good scripts on this show. God damn it. There's just a whole bunch of them, and you're just like... Meteor chasers? <laughs> Meteor chasers. <laughs> yeah. That, that's We're going to have impact a, in the middle of Wyoming. <laughs> that is a History Channel or a Discovery <laughs> Channel show right there. Gosh, darn bash it. seals or chase meteors, Pat? Your choice. Go. Ooh, I'm bashing those bad boys. <laughs> Jesus. I gave you an op. You think if you got a leather jacket, you'd chase meteors? No, no chance. Mm-mm. You wouldn't just drop it all and be a meteor chaser. Mm. I mean, you gotta get like some cool shades, aviator shades. <laughs> it's not just the jacket. I'm a little bit mad. Uh, if I give you jacket. like, I'll give you an additional hundred dollars for the shades. Meteor chasing. Just meteor because chaser. of the jacket pack. What about the car? I just figured you'd have some like night rider type shit. Your car would be like. I don't know. That's some ratty, ratty van dogs. like they drive in Twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that or it's like a tank. Like He's a weather machine tank. Philip Seymour Hoffman chasing him. I was thinking... Music. I was just thinking of more like just like a beat-up Chevy from like... Or a Buick from like the late 90s. You just have a bunch of like 20-year-old college kids running it for you because you're never going to pay anyone. And you'd rather get your weed for free. I want to make shag it like a wagon. <laughs> like an 80s retro thing. would <laughs> be the worst. Everyone's got bandanas. It's just forty year old Pat and a bunch of twenty year olds. It's the life he leads. Mm. You just saw into your future. Just trying to like convince kids that meteors are cool. That'd be weird. You gotta get the dust off these things Where before are we the government with picks this? them up. Let's get off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next topic. We're you guys got tangent. any interest in climbing Mount Everest? Oh, I don't want to collapse. Well, an American climber from Colorado died while making his descent from the summit of Mount Everest on Monday. It was the 11th death on the world's highest mountain in a two-week span, making 2019 one of the deadliest climbing seasons in memory. Wow. That was a mouthful. He died waiting in line. Mm-hmm. Yep. Conditions on the mountain are always dangerous, but overcrowding has led to a bunch of climbers uh, standing in line for hours in what they call the death zone. Where people run risk of running out of oxygen and they become exhausted and fall off cliffs. Oh, let's just pile up in line <clears throat> in the death zone. You're just trying to get to the top to take a selfie. That's how overpopulated our planet is right now. You've you've planned out this trip for years. You've maybe even mm-hmm. trained. You, you get to the top of Everest you and you're like, there's a goddamn line, line. up here. <laughs> Someone line. like it's like literally a guy that was probably his life dream to be there. Yeah. And he collapses in line to get to the top doing something that used to be no he would already he'd already gotten there he was on the way down oh so he'd already achieved God. his dream and he's like on the way back down is like oh he's had one of the best worse. moments of his that's life that's i don't even care anymore <clears throat> he already sad. had his best moment mm-hmm. so like it is what it is he got his dream at least like he got sorry you died he goes like i mean you already trekked up one of the biggest mountains on earth like yeah you probably got a little winded like is is everest not hard to do anymore like no, I just think everyone wants to be American Ninja Warrior, so everyone's just doing shit like that now. Like, That's there's a legitimate the line. You know how they triggered have, I would be if there's a They have paths now, there. like, pretty much set. Like, the paths are made from old, dead bodies mm-hmm. and uh, trash. There's a lot but of trash. Ask, Tell me there's trash on Everest. There's a shit ton of trash. They had a hashtag trash pickup on Everest. Hashtag high yo trash. How many, like, the percentile of people that were waiting that line that did CrossFit... <laughs> That's a picture of the line from the summit. Jesus. <laughs> that, oh my god. Yeah, it's like, it's like a 30 person line. I'm just like, seeing a, 
Or it's maybe that's a shitload it's a of business. Hundreds it's of business. Waiting hundreds. for Space Mountain at hundreds goddamn of, Disney. Yeah. All right, that, my question still is there. And they call that the death zone, and there's just people just hanging out. Oh, the percentile of those thousand selfie. people waiting in line that does do CrossFit. I mean, if you got that close, I want to know. I want to sell those coats with the people. Like everyone's wearing the same coat. Like, oh, this is the Everest coat. You, you just, just open up a vend- like a a small vendor when you're, stand. At, in when the you're waiting zone. in line and you have to pee, <laughs> this is the coat you want to wear. Like it's a full body thing. How to hold your spot in line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting at the top. I just hang out. Um, the, the photograph that I just showed you is at nim n i m s d a i at n i m s d a i. He took his gloves off to take the photo. Nims die. Nims die or whatever. But anyways, he had to take his gloves off to take the photo and risk his life just to even take that photo right there. So that show, just tells you how dangerous it is to be up there. And he's taking a photo of what looks like 60 to 80 people. Oh, that was more Maybe than more, 100 people. people. That was a lot of people. <clears throat> there's a, there's a, a movie back in the day about like people climbing in the ice or whatever. It might have been even been called Vertigo. I don't, I don't know. No, I know what you're talking about. Talk about that's what, that's what scared me from ice climbing or climbing in general. Wasn't it just called Everest? There was Probably a movie was. called Everest yeah. that was literally about the same concept yeah. of it being too crowded and stuff up there. And it being, oh, I didn't know. I just remember there. like a well, there was like scene. a back tone or, like of that in the movie, kind of. I don't know much about mountains because I'll never climb one of those motherfuckers. So. Hide your trash, bitches. Hide your trash. Yeah. Even on the too mountain. much trash up there too. Oxygen tanks. You're fucking with the snow leopards. Mm. They're endangered. Save the save the earth. So basically, Everest is burnout. If you do it, you're like not even special anymore. <laughs> I was about to hit you with the animal fast. <laughs> right. So oh, like basic if you Snow leopards are in China. This is oh, is it in Nepal? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck you, Pat. It's on the border though, so close. Get your bitch ass to an Applebee's location near you. Try the all-new Strawberry Dollarita with a Twizzler straw and throw in the chicken wonton tacos to turn your lame Thursday night into the Thursday night of the month. Applebee's is not an official affiliate or sponsor with the Term Lose Podcast. Well, the Term Lose Podcast will not be held liable for any diarrhea that may ensue from the consumption of any Applebee's products. All right, well, in case of the end of the world, if it comes to flood, I don't know if we should go to uh, an arc um, kind of future, if that would be what it leads to, because the owners of a Kentucky theme park featuring a replica of the biblical Noah's Ark are suing its insurance company over rain damage to the property. So, Wait, what? The arc. This giant 510-foot-tall <laughs> replica arc is based on specifications offered in the book of Genesis. Uh, ah, the book of Genesis. What? But visitors, it's visitors, it's found, visitors have found it difficult to access the arc <laughs> after heavy rains in 2017 and 2018 caused a landslide and blocked access to the road. Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. Oh my god. <laughs> the fucking ruin about, in my arc. I thought it was about the roof or like the arc. Like my not, arc's not leaking. Surviving. I mean, Noah's arc probably leaked. He probably like, missed a couple We're talking beams. aliens and religion basically mm. back to back. I'm yeah. hype. But, all right. I guess, the, I guess the arc theory could work. We could go to straight arc if we're not, you know, if we get left behind and we don't get on the space pods. I guess an arc <laughs> does work. So. God damn it. You're thinking tragedy. If you get yeah. left behind. Now they want like city islands. Think about the people that get left behind on Earth when it's just di- taking its last breath. They're like, you are stuck so we're on going this. Here, you want to go here? <laughs> we're not getting on those pods, oh. man. You know, TMLP will fucking, be on a pod. I'm a fucking bro. basic bitch. Yeah. We're all basic bitches. I got no, no clout one. in the game. I'm going it's to Pandora. Be like I don't know people. any politicians or anybody important. I'm not saving lives. I guess I. Oh, fuck yes. Marrying a pharmacist. Maybe she's got a little clout. She's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Right, just <laughs> found my skate pod. The top three percentile. <laughs> well, we'll found my skate pod. We'll get famous doing this, and then we'll be the, I don't know, the podcast Let's pod. Let's chill with that. Podcasting in a pod would be pretty cool. Yeah. Podcasting in a pod. Just shoot up <laughs> the four of us in a pod. All right. We just broke the atmosphere, guys. I don't know. I might, the into the I might rather stay field. behind. Into the famous I think, like, personally, I'd rather stay behind, too. Hmm. If I don't die within the first 30 seconds of some bomb, 
Try to be the king of the fucking wasteland, baby. Or Jenny McBride. Yeah, I'm not even going there. <laughs> <laughs> Last man standing. Just saying. A Canadian man was fined $15,000 last week after he smuggled thousands of live leeches into the county last October. Leeches. Um, he arrived at Toronto's Pearson International Airport with live leeches in his carry-on Smuggling. luggage, according to a statement from government agencies. <laughs> leeches. Um, leeches. <laughs> he was flying into the country from, of course, Russia. Russia? Um, well, are they Russian? Why leeches? is he smuggling? He these leeches? transported four thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight leeches, according to the agency. Why how do you, you Why do you need to hide them? What how do you, you count them, them for? How do you count them individually? How do you get them out of Russia? So many questions. I didn't even know Russia had <laughs> leeches. <laughs> so he actually flew once with the amount of leeches already. He was apparently. Oh, I hope he's trying to like release a leech plague into like our river systems. Probably going to like an oh, exorcism he's some or something. Hardcore Russian. Quit making me say bad things about Russia on this show. Uh, they were medicinal yeah. leech species subject to regular get regulations meant to control wildlife trade, and he did not have a permit to import the leeches. That guy was on so some. You uh, can import that many leeches if you want to. He was just, <laughs> you <laughs> just <laughs> need a permit. Need a just permit. permit. So he was yeah. just a bag of dicks. Yeah, yeah. It's just not. One he was on some epic quest, like. Trying and to save the somebody, humanity. yeah, somebody yeah. just got their leech guy stalled at it. <laughs> fucking TSA. I wonder if it, he had like a, he was sent on a mission. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our leeches, yeah. they got taken. What do we do now? <laughs> yeah, the, the leech boss is not happy right Where now. Where do we turn? This could be like a, the next like CSI crime show because hear this: illegal wildlife trade is estimated to be worth as much as twenty billion dollars every year, according to a statement. The leech trade? Le- just wild, leech all trade. like oh, just, oh, okay. leech twenty trade. billion, 20 leech billion dollar leech trade. He's about to be like, well, all right, fuck. I was about, about to go get some leeches. Yeah, <laughs> fuck chasing meteors. That's worth fuck more than gold. Seals. I'm chasing, <laughs> chasing those leeches. He's breeding in the leech game. I'm, you'll see me in the river next time. <laughs> you see me in the river just scooping leeches. You know, the best way to chase them is just let them latch yeah. on. You just get there naked with a sheath. What you doing down there, boy? Region. Looking oh, for what's... leeches, duh. <laughs> but imagine, like, a crime show about, like, stopping, like, animal smugglers. Like, one week they stop, like, people, like, selling Bengal tigers. And then the next poachers? week it's like, yeah. What's that movie? I'm all oh, for killing poachers. Oh, Stand By Me. I've been sitting here fucking thinking about that for 30 seconds. Yeah, the leeches on his dick. Four, yeah. yeah, the four boys right, and they're trying to see River dead Phoenix. Well, yeah, I'm a, saying, oh, this is gross. how many leeches could you handle on your dick? Well, god damn it, why are you bringing this up again? I don't know, we're talking <laughs> leeches and that is a prominent memory of my You've childhood. already had a fucking whole segment about leech would you dicks. want leech on your if dick. If I'm rock hard, I can handle a couple leeches. Alright. That's all I need. <laughs> You my might. god <laughs> like that's all you wanted to hear I think you gave it to me alright <laughs> you played my game <laughs> River Phoenix. so we talked about <laughs> we talked about freedom of speech last week um, something that you cannot do apparently yes. Something that you cannot do, apparently. Uh, an airport worker was recently fired for noisily masturbating in work toilets. Oh, no. He recently oh, lost man. his appeal Poor for guy. wrongful termination. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least he fought for what he believes in. It's true. <laughs> gotta appreciate it. I mean, man maybe it's like everything's all right nowadays. Some people, like, it's, in, <laughs> it's like in our... I don't know, it's in our blood to, like, want to get off. So if, like, that's your way to de-stress at work, there should be, like, like you know, you have your breastfeeding Stop. chambers. Stop, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you <laughs> defend this monster. I don't I even want to go take a shit room. in an airport bathroom. This guy's going in there and cranking one. I think he was just being too loud. Multiple times a day. Sounds yeah, like he was just being too was loud. Because it was noise. You can easily fake taking a shit. He's probably in there, like, having, like, yeah. one of those sting... Like how Sting comes, tantric sex style. He comes in like a 20 <laughs> minute himself workout. Sting. <laughs> 20 minute orgasms. Oh, oh, here it comes. He's in there just uh, screaming. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
the survivor. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Sting, that's survivor. But anyway. I don't know Sting. <laughs> like, Sting! <laughs> I'm just saying, if you. Sting's if vinegar shrimp. If you have strokes. to masturbate at work. <laughs> Sting's vinegar shrimp. Well, hear me strokes. out. If you have to masturbate at work, like, the least you could do is keep it down, right? Be respectful. Depends That's on what, what your saying. job is, man. What you if you give them a room like nursing mothers? <laughs> That's how we're gonna solve this like, Me Too issue. Imagine doing like going to, like a um, what do you call it? The donation it like you center. Yeah. For, I watched a video of like, a guy I'm, who like, literally probably just, people like, screaming. orgasms like what the like, fuck all the time. Like it's like Tourette's, but he just like yeah. just comes his pants all the time. I know you've seen it. Yeah, seen it's that. like the weird it's story like, thing on. T- TMC I mean this, he's not the only one though there's a lot of people out there that just like just I like come in their pants he I like came balloons. at his dad's funeral yeah he's like sitting there just like giving <laughs> the me fuck that's morbid he's got shit. like uh, what is it called it's bad it'll come to me Do I, not hypersen- know the I think it's hypersensitivity disease. or something no, like that no it's like that's a hell of a term though something hypersensitivity <laughs> if males have their own room they, w- they wouldn't even need to change the name it would just be the lactation room for females and the lactation room for males. My God. Terrible. You've solved the conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember lactation. what it's I'm called. Just, I can't get over how this guy can go into a greasy-ass airport bathroom and get off. Maybe it's just his kink of smelling those coffee dumps from, like, international travelers. Like, he just doesn't have a car to car jack. Him. You don't know his He needs struggles. a car jack, though. You don't know his life. And then he gets caught, and instead of, like... He he. We talked about this last episode. He doubled down hard. Like that's what you have yeah. to do. No apology video. Yeah. Immediately double down. He went. He appealed. He said, "I didn't double do anything down, wrong." People. So I'm actually I'm on this guy. I'm pro this guy. Hmm. Double down, bro. I'm that's I'm, I'm with you too. You yeah. double down. But his problem, I think, he didn't have a doctor's note. You get one doctor's <laughs> note. <laughs> yeah. Doctor's note I'm can ter- solve anything. It really terminally. Really would. Terminally, I need to do this. I think mm. if I were on my like last nine days, like my thirty days, I'd probably try something like that. You're I mean, having, it, you're in a worse situation for your last it thirty at days. The restaurant. Would you do like, auto fixation? Like Pat, you got like six months to live. I'm like, all right, so that's how what would that I plan in. this out? Oh yeah, <laughs> hot air balloon, just shooting loads. That uh, just keep going. It's right the tip of your tongue. That, who's that guy? That guy that was like the 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 white ninja guy. What was his name? Oh, him too? God, you know other people from autoerotic fixation. Who are you thinking? Uh, Who, Bill from Kill Bill? Yeah. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of too. All right. Same guy. Oh, okay. I was like, I was thinking of like the he's white a, He's a white ninja. ninja. I was like, yeah. damn, that dude went through some shit. Like, Tommy? The, the yeah, I was like, that's what I thought you were talking about. I was like, damn, son. Like, what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> Not Tommy. He did get in trouble trying to steal or sell his sword or something like that. We should uh, we should go I to Gen No, he killed shit. someone with his sword. He killed someone oh my God. with his sword. Tommy? Yeah. Oh, that's Self PTSD. Defense. He went to jail and killed someone with the sword. That's PTSD from the... You're, you're bullshitting From this. a childhood Look it star. Up, Grant. I will not let you slander Tommy's name like this. He still goes around to like Gen Con and shit. That might be a real <laughs> thing. Because he's out of prison. He's out, so it was self-defense is what you're saying. No. So he, he then how's he out of jail if he murders somebody? Because he's Tommy, dog. All right. I'm pretty sure. That he, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the white... a light sentence because he's a the, white ranger. I don't know. Who's the who's the black Power Ranger? Depends on which era of ranger you're talking about. It's either the white ninja or the black actor. Someone. I don't want to be racist. Zack. <laughs> oh, I think I actually... I think, yeah. Ricardo Mendina Jr. is a... F- American oh. former actor. He is best known for his role as Cole Evans, the Red Wild Force Ranger on the TV series Power Rangers hey, Wild hi. Force, and later as Derek, the half-human cursed Nightlock in Power Rangers Samurai. He is currently in prison for the voluntary curse. manslaughter of his roommate. <laughs> so. so that's who you're talking about. Yep. Oh, okay, that's that's curse. like 2011 Power Rangers. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we're going back. I, I wouldn't even recognize this like guy. Uh, well, I just remember Power Ranger when I was in 2002. 2002, right? Metaspree. Maybe. I don't know. Not our ranger. Not our ranger. Not our <laughs> ranger. Well, that's all I got for the headlines. Let's get on to some wild shit. 
You got the sack of wow. hell? Shit. It's a wild, wild what we call it? Shit. We're just going to call it pulling shit out of a hat right now? Shit out of a hat. All Whatever. right, we all write down bullshit, and we're going to pull something out of a hat. Who wants to pull it out? Pulling it out. Now. You got to exclude last week. Give, you just pulled a fucked up give story. Give me, give me. What? A fucked up story? Give me, 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 give me. Drum roll, please. All right. I am opening. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ooh. Ooh. You have a fuck, Mary kill. Oh. Oh. Pee Wee Herman. Jesus. <laughs> Steve from Blue's Clues. That's good. They're coming back with a new one, by the way. And one of my favorites, Rowan, uh, Rowan Atkinson, a.k.a. Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bean. Pee Wee Herman. Let me see this. No, it's Mr. Bean character. The character Mr. Bean. Oh, not okay. Rowan Atkinson. So no, <laughs> it's not Rowan Atkinson. So you can't like to clarify. Out. It's Mr. Bean. It's Mr. Not Bean. Not Rowan Atkinson. <sighs> character. Well, I would choose. Hit him. <laughs> I would. S- <laughs> I would kill. Kill Steve from Blue's Clues. Oh, that's I, cool. I, I know this is bad for all you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. I bang Mr. Bean <laughs> and make him scream because he's a mute. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Pee Wee Herman, I'd marry him because he's is like a. This is a glory. Pee Wee Herman because he's a. Because uh, yeah, because I want to live in that house because it's the glorious house. He doesn't own that house. He, yeah, he does. He no, there. he doesn't. Like uh, if it's Pee Wee Herman the character, yeah, he does. Rowan no, he's Atkinson. in character. You didn't say uh, mm. Paul Rubin. You, you said Pee Wee Herman. Exactly, Mr. Bean. Like he doesn't. Have I... a, like, you just get that character. Yeah. You don't get his house. He's gonna come live. Your oh, he's gonna house live in my P- house. P- P- uh, P- here we go. Well, he'll so transform ready? my house too, into his house. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you guys say? I'm going to. I'm gonna kill. He's gonna kill Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Because he's just way too annoying for me, to have to live with or to even just. Bang out that one time. I was a Pee Wee Herman fan. His house would be fucked up. I'd go back to his lair and he'd try to, like, Bill Cosby me or something crazy. <laughs> you never know. Please call it. Please call it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and axe off Pee Wee. And then it comes down to whether I want to spend the rest of my life with Steve from Blue's Clues, who's always, you know, very helpful around the house and is very patient, has a dog, or. But he's always Mr. jumping Bean, into the TV. Mr. Bean, who's a fucking klutz and is a fucking mute. So I think I'm just going to hit it and quit it with Mr. Bean and settle down with Steve from So you're the same answer as... No, okay, that's a different answer. No, because back hill. And I actually have a different answer <laughs> than you. <laughs> I would uh, fuck Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have any specific reason. <laughs> Other than you want to say that. Other than my, <laughs> gun to my head, I yeah. gotta bang someone. So. Um... <laughs> Marry Steve from Blue's Clues and kill Mr. Bean. Uh, Mr. Bean is just like the same way you just described Pee Wee Herman is like how I feel about Mr. Bean. Somehow I feel like Mr. Bean is weirder than Pee Wee Herman. Mm. Yeah, he can be. And and like Pee Wee's Big Top Adventure, so that's my answer. Don't be doing that. (laughs) Well, you can hide Steve's body in the TVs. He's always jumping. I I think Mm. I agree with you because (laughs) I would. I get down with Pee Wee Herman because I think in a theater or something we would like Dutch rudder each other. It could be like it could be an interesting experience. I think me, I think Pee Wee and I. All right, you and Pee Wee are in. I'll keep my grammar right. Sorry, Pee Wee. I think we would have a great night together. So he's definitely the most feminine. Oh, I don't even care about that. I think we'd have fun. I think I'd like like cocaine, Pee Wee Herman. Like oh, we'd have. You'd have the same hair at least. Limp, limp dick and shot at you. We're just, you know, having a good time. All right. So then I'd probably... <laughs> I'd probably Very descriptive. I mean, it had to be. The best part about this segment is one of us writes it, and this is one that Ben obviously wrote because he's really put some thought into this. <laughs> well, if you're writing, you think about it. <laughs> I've already thought about it. And I've had, like, a couple of days to mull this over. To say, he's sitting on it. He's like, so, I mean, and then he basically explained it to me. Steve's just super passionate and, like, helpful and patient. So, like, I think me and Steve could have a long, like, loving life together. So, I'd chill with Steve. Plus, he has the dog. And the dog's 
you know, pretty chill. And... But the dog's not actually real, so you're living with, like, a schizophrenic. Blues, 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 I'll take the schizo. <laughs> like, at the same time, if I have to put him in a home one day, I gotta put him in a home. I bet he's got some of that Blue's Clues money, though. I, yeah, I just think that we could be sitting down on the thinking chair, like, after a long, hard day, right. just, you know, reflecting, reflecting on, talking about our feelings and stuff. But at the same time, I'm sitting there, like, if I can just, like, tie a rope around Mr. Bean and, like, keep him in a closet, he can't talk, and it's just, like, that might be the life for me. He might, he would probably be the easiest to kill and get away with. But, uh, hmm. Teddy. I just don't oh, think Teddy. But he is kind of clumsy, he can make him messy, <coughs> you know, he can make that murder-suicide thing seem tricky so. yeah, you want to actually murder me in the what if I you want to do another one yeah Mr. Yeah. Mr. Bean always well, prevails before dude. we uh, Mr. Bean always part prevails. this one what if I throw a wild card in there and add in Johnny <laughs> Eng- Johnny English as a fourth <laughs> option do not have Johnny English <laughs> Johnny English he can either can he be either or <laughs> he goes he has, he's, he's got like a multiple personality he's got multiple oh, personality alright All right, we're moving on next Sad topic passing. Was Johnny Mike. English. Sack passing. Johnny English. I, I know Pat loves Johnny Sack English. Sack <laughs> I like Pee Wee Herman more. I'm Let's sad see. you guys don't like him as much as we do. I like Pee Wee Herman. Definitely more than Mr. Bean. I don't know. I think we have one night, a, a fun night to go. Hmm. I think we did this one already. Is it gibberish? It's definitely one of yours. I want to redo. <laughs> he just wants to read one. Just want to <coughs> redo. Just want to. Oh, it's different. It's. Same question from last week, but for an actor instead of a singer or band person. Give it another one. Quit writing lame. Let's it out. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Lame thing. Give it to me, baby. It's not worth the time to put it in the act. Now I kind of want to know what actor you guys would be. Will Smith. All right. It's another. <laughs> it's another <laughs> fuck Mary kill. Dun, 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 dun. So that, that will that will be this segment, and fuck your Mary options Ford. are Bill Cosby. <laughs> Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. Oh my of god. Course. <laughs> Completely opposite on the Richter scale. My uh. god. Does anyone want to hit this one first? I wrote it. I can oh. I can go first since I pulled it. So right. I think the way that I have to attack this is who am I gonna kill first? It's always the best way. <laughs> you gotta attack it any way you can. And who has been the most evil of these three? <laughs> I mean, they're all—they've all done some pretty heinous acts, but I, I did love the Cosby Show, so I'm gonna let him slide. I'm not gonna <laughs> kill him. Uh, are you gonna I think I'm back in time to be like, are you gonna grow up together? Or do you just get like him? What is now? <laughs> whatever, like, Joe Cosby. Whatever you want to make it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You can be either yeah, slipping Mickey's with him, or you can be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can. Or you can be now. You can pick the time. Imagine run wild. Oh, this then is... I don't have to live live out my day. Okay. Oh. You can bang a young Michael Jackson. Calm down. <laughs> MJ Calm didn't down. have a lot of talent that he brought to the world. What can I pick? What like when I want to kill him? Too? No. Well, yes. I would have to, so what, <laughs> die? All right. I'm gonna go with. I guess it's right now, but assume that Michael Jackson's doctor didn't kill him. Okay. Hmm. Got it. <coughs> Fuck, dude, this is challenging for me. I think I'm gonna have to kill uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, Whoa, took a turn. I took know. a turn. He's. You were gonna I feel slide. like he's probably the most <laughs> evil out of these guys. I don't want to go there. I don't. I don't want to touch on who's the most evil. I'm just gonna kill Bill Cosby. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mary. Uh, I don't know. That's not the right option, is it? If anybody has a strong opinion on this, feel free to Mo, jump you in. Took it first. I'm letting you go. I'm you ride the waves here. I can go first since I wrote it. I've I'd had to since come up with you, an answer. You for walked it, in. You so. realized it was deeper than you thought. <laughs> it was much <laughs> deeper than I thought. <laughs> so. To be fair, I'm a fan of all three. Okay. Like he I like. Up hot on just want to make sure we direction. declare that that I, I am a fan of all three. All three have done terrible things as well. I'll acknowledge that as well. Can't be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill. <sighs> I'm gonna kill 
I keep going back. This is where I keep going back and forth on it. I know who I'm going to... I'm not... <laughs> this is bad. I know who I'm going to let bang me out or bang out. I'm going to go with Kells on that one. You know, put on some of his tracks and just go I to work. I can agree with you there. That's exactly what my mom was doing. I was like, that... Again, it's Let's the same treat you right. it and quit It's just it. like Pee Wee Herman. Like, I feel like that right. would be one good night. I wouldn't know what right, he's baby. doing in the other days. Like Wipe his cults and stuff. I walk in one night, we'd have a great time, and we'd move on. Wipe my tongue. And then I think I'm going to kill the cause. Now wipe my tongue. Stop. <laughs> Don't bring it back. What are you wiping it with Michael Jackson, this question? I, I'm going to kill <laughs> Cosby, and I'm going to marry Michael for the real estate. Okay. That's fair. All right. Okay. I would go... That was tough. I would bang Michael Jackson because... I feel like I, I'd be like one of those. Uh, you would be the banger, not the bangy. <laughs> like, not one of those kids, but like. <laughs> oh my god! I'd be like one of those. Like he'd be like he treat, like take me around the world he'd and treat stuff. You right. <laughs> yeah, he'd take you in his hotel room yeah. and he'd, he'd just stare at your butt. But then I have to do night. like I have to do all the bad things. I'm just like ah oh, jeez. But he'll teach me. He'll teach me how to dance and all like. <laughs> Teach people how to dance. Be cool. <laughs> you think that by Michael well, like, Jackson? I guess that. <laughs> oh my that's, god. That is gonna They'll come with the territory. Teach me how to dance. I can always sue him later, though. That's that's or get some reward money. That that's what you gotta think about. Is that reward money? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, R. Kelly had to bail. He couldn't even bail himself out. So you can't really sue him if you get raped or banged by him. <laughs> this is this is all Jesus. the rape. It's all a rape bang scenario. <laughs> Uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, I'll probably just. I don't know. I didn't really watch the Cosby Show. You just gonna ask Bill? All, I know. This is the most we're all killing Bill. Bill. <laughs> I, I would just. I would just kill Bill. I don't know what to do here. Like, kill Bill just for saying kill Bill. Mm. <laughs> can I just take the reins here, boys? Yeah. Take it. yeah. take it. I've already told you who I'm gonna spend my lovely, lovely evening with. <laughs> Then I'm gonna marry Bill Cosby. Ooh. I'm gonna take him to church, literally. Oh, that'd be We're cool. I'll probably look I feel there. like if he's anything like Cliff Huxtable, great, let's go. Cause I feel like he was great to his like wife. You know, he'll just go out on the side and do sketchy things. <laughs> it's not gonna be to me. Right. It's gonna be like Iceman if you've ever seen that movie. He's great to his family. He just goes out and murders people yeah. later, but he treats me like a doll. So. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. Is that... And I, as long as I don't know what he's actually doing, I don't know his past. Once his past comes, I'll be like, give me your money, you know? All Is that. Iceman Gacy? Yeah, I want to be with him for like... <laughs> yeah. Kinda. No, know. Iceman's I'll like the murderer for the mafia or whatever. Oh, I thought he was... I thought you were talking about the... That's the same thing. The guy like who any like buried person. people under his house. Yeah, like he was, his, Nobody John knew he was, a good, he was a good dad and good husband. But I see what you're saying, yeah. You lost Sorry. my train of thought. You never end me on a roll. Damn you. <laughs> Where was I? Wipe me down. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Anyway, I would take Michael Jackson out. I would get him out of the Jackson 5. I would actually... I thought about this because I just watched the Umbrella Academy and I realized how important time is and you can just pinch one person <laughs> off and change the whole future. So I would go back to the sands of time right when Michael Jackson was a baby and I would murder his father. Oh. So the Jackson 5 would never exist. And I guess... The whole Jackson So Michael's just going to grow up to be a, a regular human. human. And then, wow. Oh, wow. So I wouldn't even kill Michael Jackson. I'd kill Michael Jackson's father. I don't know if that was necessarily the <laughs> scenario at hand. I said, can I take the reins? And you said yes. And then I the asked... The reins were what, taken. I asked what my parameters were and you gave me none. So, that's what <laughs> so you're bringing time travel into this. My God. Via the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> my answer is actually the same as Ben's, I think. No, nah, you're going not, back. I'm, Are you going back in time as I'm well? I'm not traveling. I'm not time <laughs> traveling. <laughs> but I think I would kill Michael Jackson, put on a sensual R. Kelly album, and just relax. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, if Bill Cosby is like Cliff Huxtable, I could put up with it. If he's not like Cliff Huxtable, then you know, murder suicide. Yeah, suicide whatever. Suicide. He still makes those funny faces that make me laugh. Oh. Right. Are we doing another one? <laughs> Might as well. Oh, one more. Going, we're going into the fishbowl from hell today. Uh, one more. Dude, fishbowl, fishbowl, fishbowl. Hopefully it's another fuck, Mary kill. And one more. Each of, you read, each of you read one. God, if it is. God help us. Oh, I got two. 
pick a destiny. <laughs> this is not mine, thank God. All right. And I think this is I think this is you. And oh, yeah? I just read the first part and it made me cheese. It's a would you rather. Oh, Sorry. Please. Sorry, Mike. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> would you rather I can't even handle this right now. Would you rather fuck a hole in the ground and suffer the consequences? There's two consequences or something like that. Two choices. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish it. All right. So you're two banging choices. a hole and you have to suffer Stop what's... Stop it. I got this. <laughs> okay, okay. Two choices of what is in the hole. One, bees. Oh, my God. <laughs> two, fire ants. Low, what, what does it say? Low stings? A lot of stings? 100 stings. Oh, my God. So I got to fuck a bee nest or an or, ant, a red anthill? This is all one. Or your secret gooey duck collection that you suck on. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what a gooey duck is. Has been found by your family. You are now banished. <laughs> So, I, I, <laughs> what is it? so now what's yeah, happening here, duck. your secret gooey duck collection that you suck on has, <laughs> I don't know what that means. has been found by your family. You are now banished. So you're banished from the land? Like, what, what are you banished you're from? Banished from, from, from your, your you're family. banished from my family from everything. forever. From, from, so what is a gooey everybody. duck? Pull up a photo. Do not put my computer, computer on. Is. It's gross. Gooey duck is a clam or a mussel that they find in the coast, but they get huge and it looks like a dick. It much. looks like a big dick. It looks like a big ass dick. It's just a big like, dick clam. People just go like sucking them. They're not sucking them. But pull, like, pulling you know, them out of the yeah. geoducks? ducks. They pull them out of like the sand. No gooey ducks. Gooey it's ducks. G o e y. So I either. Gooey duck. Fuck. It's like noodling with catfish. I either get a hundred bee stings you have a or a hundred <laughs> ant bites on my dick or get banished from my family. Basically, this yeah. question was written that you would not, you would choose, like, you're obviously not going to banish yourself from your family. I, I am. So now you have to pick a hole to fuck. In which hole? <laughs> That's Fire why it was a two-parter. The... <laughs> which hole you fucking... Because you don't want to get banished from your family. It was a, maybe you, I guess. I'm getting, I'm taking the banishment. So you're going to get banished from everyone that loves you. I think now that your fiancé is your family, I think that includes her as well. It does. So uh, you have she's to leaving it. There. So you have to banish yourself from the and one you, have you a, love. Too. And you have a weird fetish of gooey dicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you have, to love, like you have to live with. Nah, you have a gooey <laughs> dick, brother. <laughs> like you're just scouring those beaches <laughs> trying to fucking find a gooey duck. So. <laughs> That's what you do with God all your it. vacation time. All right, so I'm fucking a hole. So you've got that hot. Fucking hole. Yeah, yeah, so are we all yeah. fucking holes? So we're all holes. fucking holes. We're all, all fucking right. holes. But now yeah. there's so now I love my you mom got and dad and my brother. I'm a whole bunch of bees, or you got fire I got ants. the only logical answer. Fire ants. Go ahead, logic. I'm fucking the bees. You know, then ant could crawl into your urethra. Do I have a urethra plug? I don't even have to go no. on. No urethra plug. You're not going into this with a condom. You're, you're going raw dog. No, 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 but like, I'm not saying, but like, if I put in one of those like dick plugs, you know? They if I want to like, insert something into my dick, just to say, fuck it, if I do my own like a metal rod. Like a penis bead? Yeah, like a penis bead. Yeah. So like, I'm not saying I want to do thing. that. That's a thing. They got penis beads? You're going to get a dick piercing? No, not a piercing, it's just a little... Just like, like a plug. little like metallic bead that you just kind of stick. I'm it's also like, like you, you know that it it's like the plug like when you get I feel Starbucks like... and they put that little thing in there to like close that little mouth hole. I feel like, like that ah, would make Jesus. that would make the ants want to crawl on that stick. That's fine. They crawl the stick. I'm also it. going the bees because <laughs> they're while they're airborne. I feel like they they're first off they're bigger, so you you can once you're done you can get out you can I swat them away. Big. Yeah and. Uh, Fire ants, I don't, they're gonna be. On they could, they for could a be while. crawling into crevices that you didn't even know existed. They're gonna be all up in your gooch. The so bees like, would be worse initially, but w- less harmful in the long run. I don't know. I feel like one sting of my dick's going up inside me. So like, I think the bees would hurt a lot so more. The bee stings is gonna make your dick swell. Fire ants is gonna make it painful, like the most pain in the world. So like you can't really like, and oh, then so the thing is, get a big dick? 
with things yeah. with a fire ant, it right. I mean, fire ants take a little more girth. Fire ants latch it's on to get a fire ant off. You have to cut off its head. It latches on and stays there. All right, just like basically one-siding this whole. Would you rather just make so basically you just want us to admit I'll that fuck we'll fuck a bee hole. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking bee holes. You're welcome. <laughs> fuck all I think it's time for. Bam's big. Bam's big. Word, word of the week. Bam's big word of the week. Bam's big word. from CMLP. Scrimp, scrimp, scrimp. And I got scrimp on the mind. I need fresh quality prawns and I need them now. So where do I shop for mass bulk orders of sweet, sweet scrimp? What do you think? I'm a Bubba Gump scrimperman? Think I got that kind of time? Nah, go to CameronSeafood.com. CameronSeafood.com, the premier online way to shop seafood products. CameronSeafood.com. Scrimping ain't easy. Until now. Is hellish, so good luck. Uh, cataglottism? Cataglottism. 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 T I S M? T Y. Cata with a C A T A. Spell it out for us. Shout out to the Scripps National Spelling Bee. C A T A G L O T T I S M. It's a hell of a cataglossism. Cataglottism. You can use it in your everyday life. Say it two more times. Cataglottism, 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 I think so. Huh? You want to? You just gonna go in? I think I'm ready. Go for it. Go for it, Pat. I think it has to do. Step into the Thunderdome. I think it has to relate with what we were talking about last week, when Ryan was debating about. What was going on with his wanka tank, and why it was splitting streams? Oh, uh, so you think I? So I think he found the scientific term. Took for our shit talk from last week. Clat. <laughs> for a blockage. For a yeah. And so you this think... is when something gets clogged, like a clat cat or like a. I was thinking like. So it's not just a dick clog; it's a clog. I was thinking like cataracts for some reason, but I don't it's know. not a clog. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm thinking like when, when your uh, when your dick stops shooting the spirals. And what? I don't know. Like you're you're all clogged. So like what he said last week. Yeah. So it's like he urethra blockage. Urethra blockage. blockage. Yep yep. Yep yep. That's what I'm thinking. That's right. <laughs> Wrong, but I like how you think I'm gonna come at you hot now, and I'm gonna try to like Let's play mind games with like us. exactly play mind games. Mm-hmm. You want to go last or now? I'll give uh, you the option. I can go. If you're ready. If you still need to work it through, I also think you're playing some mind games. Ooh. I like it. Go ahead, take it. I think My- cataglottism okay. is. I think it's a technical term for making coal. Hashtag making coal. We coined that term. Hashtag there is coal. no technical term for making coal because it's probably not safe for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. Hashtag, Hashtag making, making coal. You still want to keep Don't that answer because I like the pitch for just our coined term. So <laughs> I'll give you another guess. It's like a, a All right, lot. come back to me. I need to refocus. All right, go. You can be incepted, Ryan. Hmm. Shuck that clam. Suck clams out the sand. Sounds like you got one of my uh, 
patented crazy scenarios. So I need to come up with one of those. I got some crazy scenarios. First, I was thinking like it had to do with like aerospace, but I think it's I think it's a medical term. I really do. And I think cataglottism is a mind game that has been played on me. And I think he's complete. The, exactly. I think it's the. I think, <laughs> I think it's the definition that I came up with last week, which is like the human impulse to just kind of be a dick. Like it's just kind of like an impulsive thing. Like when you're driving in traffic and you're yelling at people and mm -hmm. you just can't really help it sometimes. Yeah. You know, it's just like when you, I don't know. It's just Tourette's is not the new fissure. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was my guess. Damn it. I knew you were going from the moment you just started saying, I just think it's the same thing from last week because I have that on the mind. You know, I'm going to have to come up hot with that one day. You'll never know what it is. Just thought it was this week. You're wrong. <laughs> All right. I bring his little level down. Sweet. <laughs> he lives again. Mike, go. Oh, shit. Been giving a second chance here. Second chance of life. Cataglottism. Right. Do it for the clan. Cata. So I'm thinking catacombs. Catastrophic. And then I'm thinking combs, like a honeycomb. Then I'm thinking about the bees where we're fucking the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so the fucked bees. So the fucked bees. Then I'm thinking about that time that a bee flew into my mouth. Fuck. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I... Got stung. Then I'm thinking of clots, like blood clotting. So you got stung in the mouth? <laughs> I got stung in the mouth. Cataglottism. Cataglottism. God damn, stung in the mouth. Ah, cataglottism. Cataglottism. Does it have anything to do with cats? Catastrophic cats? Catacombs. <laughs> catacombs. Catacombs. <laughs> catacombs with cats. <laughs> God, I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what this word means. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> yeah, it's such a simple term too. There's no other way. Like it's a, it's a. This is a. Like some of my definitions are like kind of like, I don't know. They can mean a couple different things. Well, I'm gonna go with cataglottism. Is, straight is... Up. Technical term for making coal. Just going back to the same thing. Oh, uh, no, nah, he's got a stump. He's in our heads. <laughs> now I'll do two less. Beginning and ended segment. <laughs> now that I'm here. <laughs> this one's an easy one, guys. Cataglottism. Exactly what you think it'd be. Kissing with tongue. It's a French kiss. I would have never got that a million times. I know. Fucking dumbest segment. All right. <laughs> 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 Fucking French keys. My French keys. Wee <laughs> wee. Oh. Uh, All right. Thank now. you for indulging my love. All right. Now, if you would indulge me for a moment, talk a little shit. Talk a little shit. shit. Talk some shit. All right. I'm gonna get real greasy with it and just get down right now and just say down down out we've talked some serious shit you know i've i've divulged cock fantasies i've <laughs> coined a phrase hashtag making coal hashtag making make coal. coal uh baby. we've talked pissing techniques we we've gone we've gone to, you know we we i've discovered which of us wipes up and which of us wipes down through this segment <laughs> it's been a beautiful segment that's taught me a lot about life Mike, you taught me to drop toilet paper in the bowl so I don't get splashed on. <laughs> you guys are really, I know that's been helping you, guys you on are really daily doing basis. You guys really solids. I really appreciate it. I, I think we got you, you know. to stop putting deodorant on your balls. <laughs> you guys think we need to stop putting deodorant on my balls as well. But speaking of my balls. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been having a fear to shave them lately. Oh, yeah. That's a, 
Yeah, it's a bad period. Do you get so, nicked or something? I tend to nick that area every time I do oh, it, I feel oh, like. Man. I'm right there with you. And I'm just wondering... Is there, like, what is your guys' technique? For <laughs> he's training? coming back to the well. He's, trying, he's just trying to better himself in this segment now. Well, it's not that I can't do it. Grooming it's techniques. just that I can't do it without bleeding every once in a while. Right. And it, it, I'm just, I've got, like, post-traumatic stress about it. Like, I can't go back to that region with the razor or with the, the electric razor that I have. Take a painkiller and just go get waxed. <laughs> get my sack waxed. You have to go to the. the I'm Nick, not talking like the, the region itself. I'm talking the sack itself. Can we live stream you getting your sack, sack waxed? Like I don't need it to be completely. Sack waxed. Sack I don't waxed. need a complete. Hashtag sack wax. Sack wax. Sack wax. But I'd like to get <laughs> some of that. Some of that. <laughs> I'd like to thin out the the forest a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. if you will. Mm-hmm. Of course. Use a stubble trimmer. A stubble trimmer. Mm-hmm. That's such a confident way he said that. <laughs> Go on, Pat. Go on. Yeah, like like an electric razor. Instead of using I want you to your... close your eyes and just describe to me exactly how you shave your balls. Oh. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. So, I can't wait. I'm going to listen intently. Best technique to shave your balls. Step one, stretch those bad boys like a bat wing. <laughs> bat wing. <laughs> if you want to straight shave, not recommended, but... I, I don't even know. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that a couple times in the shower. Do not, do not straight risky. shave. You will get, <laughs> aka, the red bumps of death. The red bumps of death. The red bumps of death. Don't want that razor burn. If you shave anywhere, I, don't know, I always red get the red bumps, bumps of, death. of death. But uh, so I've, I've always used an electric razor, like a body trimmer, is what it's called. Yeah. Then it's just a. Uh, you just don't, you, you have just an attachment. You have another. It's a, guard a or like a, a specific. It's a attachment. three above anything above a three millimeter guard. Won't. Oh, he likes the he likes the little. I like the specific. <laughs> it won't <laughs> won't <laughs> cut your balls. It won't cut your balls. If you go one millimeter, if you hit it in the right spot, it might might nick you, but it won't. Like, you three you millimeters. Yeah. Fuck yes, Pat. This is what I need. So just raise the guard up just a hair. Like uh-huh. you don't want it all the way down. Right. I'm pretty confident in that one guard. The one guard works, yeah. but it can get you. It, it's just a that's min- what I'm saying. I've, it's a minimal cut ratio. I've been yeah. nicked with the guard Percentage. on the oh. one, so that's why I was concerned. Okay. And I was wondering if there was yeah. a different. I, that, that's happened before too. You need you to you get hard before you do it. Sour cream. It does help. <laughs> it does help. It does help. That's what you gotta do. You just put sour cream on your nuts, and then it will slowly like. I can't even finish. All right. <laughs> All right, I still stand by. I still you, stand by. Do you think sack it, wax. Pat, Pat me, me and Mike agree that it helps to be hard <laughs> before, like not like hard during, but like to be hard before and let it like drain a little bit of the blood out. So it's like it's got some juice, some some life to it. You know, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, being hard always helps. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or a little drunk. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be shaving your balls, bro. Right. I mean, I'm yeah, not saying drunk. I'm saying I said a little drunk. Like, I got a little tips. Going well, on. I just want to say that I definitely have some newfound confidence, and I'm going to go home and shave my balls. Probably tomorrow, actually. <laughs> so- I've got to watch the finals Was tonight. someone complaining about your balls? Me. Uh, I haven't would- shaved them because I'm... I usually try to shave them, like I said, biannually. Not really. Uh... <laughs> I went on like a long spy No, I just shave it when I get warm, and I'm starting to get warm. It's starting to get muggy around around these parts, and I remember I had a mane down there once. Got to get this. It was like a fro. Beaver pelt off me. <laughs> it was like a, uh, a big red. It looked like Jackie Moon <laughs> looking up back at you. <laughs> Jackie Moon. Love my sex. All right. Yeah. yeah basically, use, my use a good guard, buddy. Yeah. My advice for this segment: don't use your don't use your razor. Don't use your Gillette or your shit Quattro. You, you gotta use, go to CVS. Get one. Not the cheap. It. Not the cheap one. Get like you have the a fucking razor. One. Get the one that I, it I looks like no they're guard using. Up top and a at guard at my your haircut. When you get in a haircut, they have that guard. Get, buy that same exact model from cvs it'll cost you a little bit more but it's good it's good in the long run and then don't use your face plus it's versatile and your body razor don't get it mixed up i'm gonna study the motherfucking tape 
vibes. And I'm going to get on this, boys. Hashtag I appreciate you. Sack wax. Sack wax. I don't want to wax my sack. Oh, oh Kelly Clarkson. I've tried using Nair before on your junk. No, bad, you did not. Idea. Yeah. What the fuck? Burns. It does. Yeah. Why would that ever that be was, a good idea? That was when I was younger back in the day. I worked at CVS. I'm like, huh, well, it's a, here's an air. There you go. I've, you, I, I've, had you, girl, I had a girl uh, I just wanted to be a, yeah. just to show me. I was like, I wanted oh, to be ooh, a fuck. silky smooth. <laughs> Nair is fucked Yeah, I bet you had a bad. smooth sack. Bad. Daddy smooth sack over here. No, nah, I've... I'm not tamed. I would take a hundred <laughs> gallons of icy hot to the balls before I would take any. Nair. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. full of hundred gallons. Of I was screaming, screaming to the drop. heavens. Yeah, you might not be uh, fertile Lonesome. anymore, but <laughs> you're putting fucking nair on your sack. Must be ever fertile. <laughs> Does it say that on the on the thing? Please do not sack wax with nair. No sack waxing. Contains cancer. You can get your sack waxed only at one place that waxes. It's called Naked Monkey. Do you know where to get your sack waxed? Like, do you know this? <laughs> Shout looked, out to the Naked Monkey. I've looked at like getting like a, like, a sack wax. I don't know, like a gooch wax. I was just curious about it one day. You ever thought of looking at your butt <coughs> wax? No, that'd be weird. I'm about to do it for my it's biannual ass shave. Getting though. waxed is it's hot. I got my chest waxed once. Oh, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I think it's like, a good uh, time to start saying. Like, the top up here. I, this I, is not his quantity. Right, I was having. I had hair sticking out, <laughs> like just like weird ass, gross hair sticking out of my shirt, and I, someone called me out, and I was just like. <laughs> and then it, I'm all bony, and it's hard to use my my body trimmer on that. So it's just like, someone recommended getting a wax, and I was like, hey, it's whatever, because I where I worked at Jets, I worked right next to a European wax salon. <laughs> so all these. <laughs> All these hot chicks are outside smoking cigarettes, and I'm always flirting with them. Like, come on in. Wax you. Let me wax up those eyebrows for you, Pat. You're like, let me. I was like, all right, try it out one day. So I did. Fucking chest wax. (laughs) Got my chest wax. You walked in there, took off your shirt, and said, get rid of these weird hairs. Well, yeah, she's like, let me see it. Let me see, like, what's going on down there. And I'm like, did you whip off your pants? Whatever. No, like, she she wouldn't whip out my pants. Did it lead, she, did it lead like she went, she went like the whole, the, the whole chest or whatever. But you got um, your entire chest waxed. Yeah. Like they put the like your the, stomach the, too. Yeah. Oh. Exactly like it's the forty-year-old virgin oh where they put God. on the that. Did you uh, scream? I don't have Tape. much hair. It's just up here and then like right, right around. That here. would suck for so. me. To did do. you scream? I don't know. She hooked me up. No, it was weird. Does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. So. God damn. It's hot, and then like they just like slap on that little piece of paper and rip it we'll off. have to come up with some scenario like so one just awful. death it's, scenario for each of us weird. and my mine would kinda, be not to yeah, trim my chest sensual, hair for like a year sensual. and then go get fucking waxed because <laughs> it's a hot chick too did you have a bone yeah, yeah I, I, had a, do. I had a pretty big bone all right pat <laughs> so let's keep talking about it. it's your segment though you're living downtown <laughs> check <laughs> you're living downtown yeah. check yeah back on the six check yeah not doing meth, check. No meth, yeah. And no other drugs, yeah. That's I'm good. Just, just weed, yeah. <laughs> and then you got Wi-Fi now, right? I've been. Oh yeah. So this is my quandary. <laughs> We're back at the Wi-Fi. I have. I have Wi-Fi. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I am finally watching The Office. Oh, yay. Watching. I can watch The Umbrella Academy. Hey. Nice. Trust I watched. Uh, Shout out to The Umbrella Academy. <laughs> 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 Uh, I haven't seen it yet. So it's actually not bad. Mary J. Blige is an assassin, so you got to give it a shot. I'm watching that and Curtis Kelly Dog right now. So, <laughs> all right. So you're watching. But, what was I watching? I was watching Andy Sandberg's uh, latest 30 minute thing on there about. Uh, I watched that. The Bash Brothers. The Bash Brothers. Bash Brothers. <laughs> it is. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um. But how I obtained my Wi-Fi is my quandary. My is it God. is it ethical to uh, to use your neighbor's Wi-Fi password um, and not pay for Wi-Fi? You know? <laughs> is it ethical? Did I you sh- you're asking you know, an <clears throat> answer, but how did you get well, his I mean, password? Let's say yes. Well, so this example, I obtained his password. He gave it to me. I didn't steal it from him. So it's fair. Where I'm at in my house, I get a good enough signal. It's about two to three bars on a good day. Haven't seen a stormy day yet, but. Right now, I got a good enough signal to last a good good year. Yeah. But does he, he doesn't know so, that you're mooching it still. How I got the, I, it's a funny story. How I got the signal, uh, or the the password. Uh, 
So I'm outside smoking a cig. It's 12.45. I'm a little tipsy. It was just a long day on, uh, I was trying to get laid on Monday. I was just trying to get laid all weekend. But, so I'm already drunk and I'm just bored. So my neighbor walks outside. It's just this black dude or whatever. And, uh, he's like, he's locked outside of his apartment. And, uh, he's with his boyfriend too. And, uh, the two of them are just like, trying to call people and like trying to get an uber back to this party was this they, the dude that smoked meth in your house no nah, this i have two neighbors that apparently they're both gay so this, i don't know this this <laughs> guy this guy's cool though he doesn't smoke meth um <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways anyways uh <laughs> the two of them are like hey so you drive lyft right and i'm like oh jeez, yeah uh I've been drinking though. I mean, like, what's going on? They're like, yeah, we're we're locked out of our apartment. Like, we need we need to ride down to this party. I'm like, oh, jeez, nice pad over here. It's just like, eh. I don't know. You can smoke some of this weed if you want while you wait, but I got nothing for you. But they're like, well, our our window upstairs is unlocked, and we tried to get up there once and I couldn't do it. And you know me. I'm the king of climbing up on They roofs. used Ninja Pat. <laughs> they called in the perfect guy, and they, uh, I was Ninja Pat. So I put two... Uh, Gales of the sock. On my I, put two, every night. I put two trash bags, or two trash cans next to each other and just climbed climbed on top of that and then just jumped on the roof. And they just, like, hoisted me up there and broke into their house. And they're, so like, you walked through their house without them in there? <laughs> I went into their house and it was just, like, it was really weird. It was like a, it was like a loft type thing, and it was like, uh, I don't know. I, like then I couldn't find like the door because like you find thing weird. Everything was everything was all fancy. Like they had like sheets covering the hallways and like the beads, like the bead, <laughs> like the bead bead entryways. And I'm like, where the fuck is this door to like let these people in? So I finally, <laughs> I finally go downstairs like, uh, and then like unlock the door and they let them in. And we like, I sp- spoke some weed with them or whatever, and then. I get, uh, I tell them that I have no Wi-Fi in there. Like, oh, geez, that sucks. We've got Wi-Fi. So uh, he grabs my phone or whatever and puts in the password in my phone. So you don't know the password. I don't know the password. (laughs) So my fucking sneaky ass just sneaks the phone bag and was just like, oh, shit, it didn't go through. Like, um, what, what, what's the password again? Like, tell it to me. So I whip up my notes on my uh, iPhone, the notes button, <laughs> type in the password as he's telling it to me, and go, boop, 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 boop. oh, yeah, hey, yeah, it went through. Yeah, great. Crap. <laughs> so it worked the first so time, it did. but then you <laughs> told him it didn't work, so he repeated the password and you wrote it into your notes. Your yes. quantity is you being a rat fucking <laughs> bastard. Wow. So then... Surviving. I sneak back to that my house. Do, 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 and uh, Now he's got a Wi-Fi hooked up in that one corner. You got your devices <laughs> over there. <laughs> So back into my house, like I uh, like I type in the password into uh, the um, the TV just to see if it would work, and <laughs> that has got three bars, baby. Not a full signal, but that has got three bars, baby. <laughs> that has got three bars. <laughs> you can watch Umbrella Academy. Now you're gonna watch some fucking. Going HD. back to the leather jacket, I think it's safe to assume that you're heading towards a duster. That was a very leather actions. jacket move, though. That was a very leather jacket move. Like I mean, I, I did him a favor. That's a fair trade of goods and services. You broke into their house. So yeah. he gets to siphon a little bit of your Wi-Fi the rest of the year because he climbed on the roof once. Yes. And then he they can at, change their password if they want. If they, they were drunk. Change their password. They were drunk. They gave me the password and he gave me a free so meal. Wi-Fi raped. Gave me a free meal at Fogo de Chao because he works there. Give me uh, a gift card nice. that gives me a free dinner and a free Oh, uh oh. So he paid you properly. Uh-oh. Well, now you, some... you want a little wow. extra on top. You're like, let me get that Wi Fi too. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's just so like now you are being a greedy, greedy pat. Yeah. So now it's like <laughs> and then like two days later my Wi Fi box shows up in my house. So now I have like this Wi Fi box. And I'm like, pay the fifty bucks a month or mm. be the mooch. Ride this out as or long ride as Ride this can. out as long as I can. <laughs> what, is your, what are your opinions on that? Should I be ethical or not ethical? Pat, you know me in a heartbeat. You know you, like, we live together. We'd be riding that fucking shit out <laughs> as long we totally as we could. And then I could all, I also thought about beca- um, getting the, I always wanted Wi-Fi in my car. That's the whole point of me having that Wi-Fi to go thing, which was my last bitch, bitch thing last week I was bitching about. 
But uh, bitch fest. Hash bitch fest. That's bitch fest. Hashtag. Hashtag. Downtown Louisville. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag sack wax. So I can get the hashtag or not hashtag the Wi-Fi to go in my car for twenty. Here's bucks. where the ethical dilemma comes in for me. What are you about to be doing with this Wi-Fi? If you're about to be watching like some 4K HD Netflix on your no. high class TV, like you're I just said, gonna be browsing the web, Twitter. But if you're gonna be streaming some serious videos, these guys are gonna notice a, a degradation of their. It also depends how good is their Wi-Fi. They have AT and T, like <laughs> like the the box, like a good Direct TV. Are box. they on fiber? I think they they have like the. The, the bundle because they have TV and Wi-Fi. Like if they're if they've got a nice like little set four hundred megabyte bundle, you can you can ride that out. But if they're if they're on that forty dollar a month hundred right. meg bundle, didn't they have a meth head over at their house like a couple weeks ago? That's my other neighbor. Other neighbor. That's other neighbor. Chowy. He has a good life. Okay, this is the good. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. My your bad, my your bad. argument just sounds like a man who just became a homeowner. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, I've been. I haven't bought my internet yet. <laughs> and if some rat bastard was stealing your internet from your house, oh yeah, because you gave mm-hmm. him the password, and he lives next door. And the fact, I think the whole thing that kind of fucks me with this whole thing, Pat, is the fact that he took your phone first and put it in because he was trying to be secretive. Mm-hmm. He didn't want you to have the password, and then you had to get him. <laughs> and he gave you a gift card free meal for dinner and to- drinks. That place two right by you can easily spend a hundred bucks. Literally right next to it. Um, I don't know. I still think ride it out, baby. <laughs> I'm I'm still still all that being said, all this guy's gonna said, be trying I'm to watch getting, some porn. I'm not getting full signal. He's gonna be on, trying to relax on the TV. But that means he's. But the on my phone, I'm getting a full signal, so I'm getting unlimited access to oh, porn, yeah. unlimited access to well, porn. Know. And the access to porn. Porn, that's all you need. And these guys are going to get triggered when their fucking videos are always buffering. They're like, what, what are you watching, man? The other guy's like, I'm not watching anything. Porn. That fucker that we had climb on the but roof they, is probably using our internet they're probably, still. <laughs> The best part is they're probably nine owls. Yeah. And I, I'm a, a day owl. So oh, okay. Awesome. So if you're using the internet at opposite times, I think, yeah, I think you'd be like a, yeah. Yeah. like a loon. Be a loon? Yeah. Maybe a loon. Oh. So you wouldn't be a day owl. Be I a guess I am. I like the ones that are cool. As Dudley do right, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and pay for it. But I feel like the consensus and the wiser decision is to write it out, Pat. So. I'm glad you both did Dudley do rights, though. All right, I'll write it out for as long as possible. Pat, you know, if you came to me with this, I would, you know the advice I'd hit you with. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck them. It's forty bu- or fifty bucks a month I'm saving. So fuck them, fake it till you make it. <sighs> write it out till you get on top, showing everyone in your path. It did turn off for like 30 minutes one day, though. Well, the next shit you gotta deal with. They unplugged like, the router like, and plugged it back oh, in. No. They know. They're trying to get them off. Mm-hmm. Well. Good luck, Chuck Berry. It's been a, it's been a wild ride of a Thursday. It has. We've learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Always learned a lot. <laughs> Lessons Well, I learned that uh, Mount Everest, there's a fucking line of dumb shits waiting up there to take a selfie, <laughs> risking their fucking lives. What so if, the world is overpopulated. I already knew it, but I learned it. It got reinforced for me. What You're if welcome. you put a drone on Mount Everest? Would that be the highest object in Earth? I don't know if it'll work. Oh, yeah. Then you have to take off your gloves to use it Rocket like an idiot. Man. Imagine that selfie. Selfie of all. Um, I learned that I can't trust Ben. He's just inside my head. I gotta get him out in Incept- my kitchen. Damn you! That Incepticon. was literally what I was gonna say. Maybe. I would learn that today. I'm officially in your minds. All right. Well, I also learned that um, we might not be alone. <laughs> but we already knew that. But we already knew that. I'll be creating those TV shows with meteors, chasing meteors. Okay, yeah. And also, you can transport leeches with a permit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, leech transferring permit. I learned I'm willing to get there to be Michael Jackson's slave boy. 
<laughs> learn that about yourself. It's always a tough reflection when you learn that about yourself, but I'm glad <laughs> you learned that. I always learn so much from this show. <laughs> I think I learned most of all that Pat's a deviant, and his life is worth... I just I wish I could watch. Like a little bird. Just watch what happens like, to like, you. Like a little leech on <laughs> the wall. Like fucking the, puppet master. Yeah. Look for the live... Uh, feed of Pat living like on Big our Brother. YouTube channel. Well, I'm Big a free, style. I'm a free bird now. Twenty four seven camera rolling. You guys are just come in with home. a drill. I'm like putting <laughs> cameras all in there. Give us a hundred. If we raise a hundred grand, we'll put cameras in your house and you'll be monitored for a year, right? Yeah, I would do that. Twenty five yeah. grand a piece, and then yeah, we all get. We'll hire grand. some guy to like follow you around with, like a camera all day. All right, no, we're going to raise 150 because Pat's got to get... I'll do it. Fuck yeah. I get 25 Gs. <laughs> Just to follow Pat around? Just to follow Pat around? I already follow Pat put around. one inside of uh, a <laughs> Cepita, like a yeah. security cameras, quote unquote. <laughs> so you would become Ed TV <laughs> for fucking uh, 25 grand. <laughs> That's another fucking uh, Truman Show and Ed TV. Ed TV? You guys never seen Ed TV with Matthew McConaughey? I guess not. I think my so. Oh my God, look it up. Is it good? It's I just ridiculous. learned I got a uh, new okay. Matthew McConaughey movie to watch. Huh. Basically, it's he like he wins this contest and they uh, start following him around with a live reality show. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Thank you, God. <clears throat> Thank you, Chad. I bet it doesn't. So, to all our viewers out there, cool. check out Ed TV. This has been. Unless you guys have anything else to say, I'm thinking. Well, if you're while you're checking that out, check out our YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. You know. Like and subscribe, like, and, like subscribe. and subscribe. We need more shit in the hat, people. Be on the lookout for our Send PSA videos. Save the reef. Would you rather? Hashtag oh. hide your trash. Hashtag hide making trash. coal. Hashtag TMLP. I hate hashtagging things. Can we stop this? Shout out to Baja Blast for being a great liquid. We could <laughs> see you guys next week. Shout to Baja Blast. Hashtag we should Peace. tag hash. I don't even know. Tag hash? Adam Double, yeah. you rat fink. Mwahiha! <laughs>